Cytoskeleton is one of the important structure in the uh, cell, uh, in the eukaryotic cell. As we know, we uh, as a human uh, as a human body has a bone in our body, and we have a different bone, and uh, we have a different joint, and which help in the motion or the locomotion from the one place to the another place. Similarly, the cytoskeleton is basically the important structural framework which is present in almost all the eukaryotic cell. So, we will discuss uh, this cytoskeleton and its structure and function in this lecture. So basically, what is a cytosol? Cytosol, as the name suggests, it is the skeleton of cell. So particularly the skeleton of the cell uh, by which the motion of the cell and different functions such as the movement from the one place to the another and the transport of the vesicles from the one place to the another in the cell division means all these possible with the help of the cytoskeleton only. Now what is it this cytoskeleton? Cytoskeleton basically it provide a structural framework for the cell and it acts as a scaffold Therefore, it helps in the providing the shape to the cell and also to the positions of the organelle. And due to its structural support, structural support to the cell, they are helpful in providing the cell movement and the transport of the organelle from the one place to the another place. The cytoskeleton is less rigid. It means that they are the dynamic in the nature on the structure. And why it is dynamic? Because cytoskeleton is continuously reorganized due to the uh, due to the motion of the cell. Motion of the cell means cell is uh, trans cell is uh, transporting the things from the one place to the another. And also it is uh, we can say changing its shape. That is why it is dynamic in nature okay uh, like in the case uh, uh, of the cell in the cell division basically cell divides and change its shape and in the mitosis so that is why the cytoskeleton structure is dynamic structure and cytoskeleton is basically composed of three principal protein filament the first one is the actin filament which is also known as the microfilament Second is the microtubule and third one is the intermediate filament. So, microfilament basically they are helpful in the locomotion or providing the shape to the cell. The microtubule basically it helps in the cell division and in the intracellular transport. Intracellular transport means uh, the transportation of the organelles within the cell from the one place to the another place so the intracellular transport the microtubules basically help third one is the intermediate filament they use to provide the mechanical support to the cell so this is how the three principal protein filament they make the cytoskeleton structure and they are held together uh, with the help of some accessory protein either with each other or with attached with the plasma membrane so they are held together by the accessory protein so first we'll discuss about the actin filament that is the first principal uh, protein of the cytoskeleton it is one of the abandoned cytoskeleton which is present in the cell and they are generally in the form of the filament which are very thin and the flexible fiber and they are approximately ranging from the 7 nanometer in the diameter and up to several micrometer in the length. Okay. So, these are the basic, uh, we can say the structure uh, of the actin filament and they generally uh, polymerizes. Basically, the actin filament make up of the actin monomer which used to polymerize and make the actin filament. So, this is how the actin filament are uh, generally present in the cell. Now, within the cell, the actin filament are present in the high order structure and they are uh, in the form of the two structure, either in the form of the bundle or in the form of the three dimensional network. 
with the property of some semi solid gel now what is this bundle and the three dimension network in the bundle the actin filament are lie parallel to the each other so they are closely intact or lie uh, and they are closely intact and they are linked with some protein while in the three dimensional network they are the intense network of the actin filament are present and they are joined by some uh, protein filament and that is why giving a semi solid gel like structure now actin filament that is they are not the stable product or we can say they are the dynamic in the nature and therefore the assembly they are uh, arranging and the rearranging and this assembly and the disassembly of the actin filament basically is regulated by the actin binding protein so actin binding protein basically it helps in the assembly or this assembly of the actin filament or it helps in the cross linking of bundle structure or the three dimensional network structure and also with the association association of this actin filament with some other subcellular organelle subcellular organelle so these are the function of the actin binding protein which is usually uh, help or which regulate the disassembly and the assembly of the actin filament now uh, actin filament basically are abundant beneath the plasma membrane and they form a intrinsic intrinsic network beneath the plasma membrane that help in determining the uh, shape of the cell it allows the movement of the to the cell surface and enabling them to the micro uh, migrate engulf the food particle as we have seen in the endocytosis what happened the plasma membrane it forms some uh, protrusion against the food particle so this protrusion is only possible with the help of the actin filament only and also it help in the uh, cell division as we can see the the cell start first elongate and then it divide in the middle and this division is also due to the actin filament only now we'll discuss uh, here the assembly and the structure of the actin filament basically the actin was first isolated in the muscle cell in the 1942 in the muscle cell they are first isolated from the muscle cells and initially it was known that they are involved in the muscles contraction only because muscle cells consist of about 20% of the actin protein uh, while later on it was known that majority of the eukaryotic cell contain the actin filament mainly 5 to 10 protein of this are present in the actin filament